Okay, so today we're going to talk a little bit about the do's and don'ts of faking. What's effective and what's not effective. Um, I do a lot of clinics all over the country and see a lot of fakes that kids are doing out there that are really ineffective and you see a lot of good faking but some, we have some other ways that can really refine and make your fake a lot better. So to start, a couple things. First of all, you got to start with the good body position. Okay, so your arm up high, back. You want your wrist to be on the back of the ball holding it here. You don't want to be in this position or this position. You want to have good, solid wrist position. Okay, ball in a position to shoot at any time. Next thing, you don't want to do a fake where you're pushing the ball up to the ceiling and just moving it for no reason. Okay, just moving the ball for no reason isn't going to get the goalie to, uh, to jump. If you can think of yourself as the goalie, this doesn't really make you think a shot coming. Okay, but something like that is much more effective. Okay, you don't want to do the same fake over and over. Okay, a lot of people will be in a lower position, faking, faking, and then when they shoot, they change, they get up high. So you've got to mix up your faking. Maybe start with one or two little fakes up here, and then a big fake. Or one or two fakes with this body position, and use your legs, and shift into a good body position. When a goalkeeper sees something different, that usually is a tip off that the player is going to shoot, and they're going to jump and react to that shot. Another thing we want to do is engage our whole body. So we don't want to just fake with our arm. Even if you're mixing up your arm movements and faking the ball, it's not enough just to use your arm. You've got to engage your whole body. So your legs are extremely important in this. Okay, your legs, your core, your shoulders, even your head. Okay, so I'm on my legs, driving my legs. And as I'm faking, I'm gonna do some big leg movements and really move around. And that's, that's what's really gonna get the goalie to jump. Okay, you gotta be creative with your fake. Okay, so I've got the ball up here, up here, come down a little bit. Bring it over. I'm, I'm moving the ball around, but I've always, not always, but almost always got it in a perfect position where no matter what I can shoot. So say I've got the ball up here. I do a big fake with my legs and my shoulders. I come to here, I haven't really moved my arm. I can still fire away and shoot that ball. One thing you can do out of the pool to, to practice this, work on faking in front of a mirror or you can fake in front of a window if you get a good reflection, anywhere where you can really see yourself and just get in front of the mirror, this is on land, and just take a look at your fake, see what's working, see what happens when you come across your body, when you give a little fake and then a bigger fake, you have the ball up and you just move your head a little bit. So really the concept is to get used to seeing what the goalie might be seeing, see what would make you jump if you were the goalkeeper and then work on those movements, okay? At the same time, you can also simulate that if you had a blocker in front of you, what you would do to get around that blocker. So if I would maybe lean my body this way a little bit and then bring my arm back around my head, or if I'm gonna try and beat the arm below, then I'd have to rise up a little bit first and then come down. Really taking what you need to work on in the game, simulating it and practicing it on land. It's another great way to work on your fake. So, so one of the biggest mistakes people make when they're faking is they're faking in a low position. Okay, so even if they have a good fake, they're faking down low, down low, and then when they shoot, they get up big and shoot the ball. So you've got to find that sweet spot in your, in your body position where you're up high attacking, you're not going to tip off your shot, but a position that you can hold for five, 10, or more seconds. So I don't want to go up as high as I can and start faking up here and be sinking by the time I shoot the ball. That's counterproductive. At the same time, I don't want to be too low and then when I shoot, come up. So I want to drive my legs, get in a good body position, okay, where I'm comfortable, I'm a threat, I can shoot the ball at any time, but I'm not going to tip off the goalie by jumping up. I'm going to shoot from that position. So that's a really effective tool that you have to get down to be a great shooter.